one more notch on the old belt. Guitar Snake coming out good. D20 coming out good. Charco coming out good. Annoyingly, these three failed all kind of in the same way. All of these are sort of indicative of some kind of a clog. And especially this one, I just changed the nozzle. The weird thing though, is when I measure the filament, it has the proper dimensions. So I do not understand why that would be. But I think we're just gonna make filament without recycled material for a day or two, and then see where that gets us. All right, we can finally use one of the TVs for the computer. Packaging some things. This is a little German Shepherd boy. All right, time for the big reveal. Wow. Another one of my classics, the Pug Recovery Collar Dish. Yet another Sharko. Time to take these guys to Kleins. My, 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 that coffee hits me so hard. Stop, coffee time. Grand Funk Railroad. Not a railroad, not funk, debatably grand. Blinded me with coffee. I'm about to get blinded with coffee and it's gonna be delish. Didn't get to do this yesterday. I know that we're always going and getting coffee, but the rituals are important. Your life is a collection of moments. I have a theory. I think you don't hear harmonies being sung very often on choruses because, especially if the harmonies are really thick and nice, like you would hear in a Queen song or that Paula Oates song or something like that. Like, there's some chance that when somebody is singing that back, they're not singing the exact same melody. Like they could be singing the actual melody or they could be singing the harmony or one of the harmonies. And from a marketing perspective, this is probably less good. Like you probably want more people. You're, you're gonna get like greater sort of share of people's attention if there's only one harmony, or there's no harmonies and there's just the melody, rather. And I think, basically, what I'm trying to say is marketing killed harmonies in songs, especially in the chorus. I don't know if I can prove that. It's also because there's less music literacy, but I really feel like that's true. It feels like it's going against some kind of bro code to not finish the song once you've arrived at a place, if Rush is playing. In fact, I know it's against the bro code, but it's hot out. We were deprived of our thrift last time. That's not a mistake we'll make again, unless we have to. Whoa, I had one of these growing up. Hmm. No effing way. You guys will not believe this. The soundtrack to Rocky IV and Cobra. Wow, I really like this bed frame. Every time I set something to print. Okay, so there wasn't much else but probably, probably the two best movie soundtracks ever. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but two really good movie soundtracks and Rocky IV probably, either Rocky III or Rocky IV, probably the best action movie soundtracks of all time. I cannot believe this. This is why I go thrifting. Look at that, look at that.
best find ever. unbelievable i can't believe i actually not only found the rocky four soundtrack but cobra like what are the odds of that you could thrift for 10 years and not find that me finding the rocky four soundtrack i don't believe it yoda that is why you fail man it is nice out today might be a good excuse to take the old segway out Okay, I just ordered off the Subway app, which is really cheap. Use promo code 20 off uh, for 20 off, 20% 20 off. But it's so nice out, I just felt like I need to get a little fresh air. We gotta pump up the tires, but yep, this'll work. You can see how much more worn this tire is versus this tire. Actually, it's kind of not that obvious, but it is. That's how much I've ridden this thing. Oh man, it feels good to be back. I can't even describe how nice it is out. This feels amazing. Once you do this for a few years, it feels just as natural as walking, honestly. I really used to segue everywhere. I used to get groceries like this. Being connected to nature is kind of fun, especially when it's in such a strange artificial way. I like cutting through all the little parking lots and stuff. This place says it has the best fajitas in town. It's debatable. I stuck it in a bush for that. That sounded weird. This is kind of a picturesque time to be doing this. I feel like I should be taking some glamour shots or something. No sign of our quarry, but what bare rock can tell. I just go in here without even saying anything, go up to the rack and pick it up. Bag secured. When you order Subway on the app, they're not paying me to say this, but when you order Subway on the app, you can get pretty good discounts. Plus there's points. Like every couple sandwiches, you get a couple dollars off. So it's a very cheap way to eat. And if you're on a diet, you can get options that are kind of not that bad. Long time viewers will remember, that's the coffee shop I went to that one time really cool story now the ultimate thing would be listening to the rocky four soundtrack on a segway there's no easy way out segwaying can't be wrong you may not move to nacogdoches for the sights and sounds but it's one heck of a perk shop sweet shop all right we engaged in a little too much nonsense today. After this sandwich, I'm going to paint everything, package everything, and print everything. Hopefully after that, we can put together the new printer and it'd be great if nothing was wrong with it. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. We really need to get our monitor back, so we're taking this TV, which is the largest one here, and we are going to unplug. Good opportunity to clean some stuff up. A nice dirty workbench. The ultimate sign of wealth. All right, I guess that's about as good as we're getting. All right, that didn't work. Not sure what I'm gonna do here. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm an idiot. This problem has been solved because my computer 
even though it is old, it does have an HDMI output, which means all I had to do was just plug it in to the thing. Okay, took longer than I wanted, but... I mean, that looks pretty cool. I'm almost sort of glad my TV fell off the wall. A full set of gargoyle knobs. I guess they have a six knob guitar. They're gonna be decking it out. Another classic Einstein. Check this out. I'm setting up the new printer, but I believe this may have actually come with two glass beds. Or this is like some kind of plastic or something, but this might be something I can use. Is the phrase pain staking or pains taking? As in, am I taking pains or am I staking a pain? Like, do I have a stake of pain or am I pains taking? Kind of random, but I came across this product on Amazon. It's a bunch of messages that are like pills in a little bottle for long distance relationships. My ex-wife and I were apart for two years while we did the immigration process. And this makes me sad. Okay, so I've been working a while on this. Pretty much got everything more or less set up. The firmware works, the control box works. Actually, I haven't turned this thing on. It seems to be an older model. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. Apparently these things like to be plugged in, but it seems to be maybe working. It's not getting hotter. You gotta set it to the temperature. Okay, this thing is heating just heating a lot more slowly. Maybe it's just one of the older versions of this uh, heated bed. I mean, it seems like it's gonna work, but the ones I have nowadays, like those ones will heat up like almost instantly. It's actually freaky. I still gotta put the extruder motor here and the, the, um, the X axis was disconnected. But I connected it and we're going to tighten it up. Interestingly, this carriage won't really um, sit on there without being wiggly. It won't tighten, basically. Maybe that's why this person got rid of this, but I have a whole bunch of these, so that's not even a big deal. Perhaps that's what motivated them. This is a good opportunity to talk about this. This plate was bent and also one of the things was not very tight so you always want to make sure this plate is bent not at all or if anything bent in the direction of being on there tighter and make sure these things are on really tight and i think this is going to be fine the piece of glass is actually a little small but this will work I'm not going to get into bed leveling tonight, but this is basically put together. All the belts and stuff and everything is verified to be functional. Also, we made the filament holder thing. So this will be a project for tomorrow. Hopefully it's not going to be too much. Mopping up last couple of things. It's time to package the Kanga dishes. The Kanga bowls. Well, it's a late one today, but we're probably going to leave it there. Um, yeah, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful that all the printers are working, that the filament situation has been A-OK -okay and actually very consistent. And I'm glad the, um, the new printer doesn't seem to be significantly damaged or doesn't seem to have anything that's not going to work, which is very good. So, those are things that, I, that I'm thankful for. I've actually been thinking about, like, I've been realizing things I'm grateful for in my normal rest of the day life, which is very useful, which is almost kind of why I'm doing this. It actually shifts your mind a little bit to just purposefully 
think about things you're grateful for. It actually slowly shifts your perspective. I've kind of done it before, but this has been a good exercise. So type down in the comments what you're grateful for. We are the Gratitude Gang. Peace out. P.S. I'm also grateful for this.